Okay, cool. Uh, 410, uh, split array larger sum. Given an array which consists of non-negative integers and an integer m, you can split the array into m non-empty contiguous, uh, contiguous, which is contiguous, uh, subarrays. Write an algorithm to minimize the largest sum among those m subarrays. Uh, okay, I mean, this is, I think we, we've done similar things in the past. Uh, which is the what I what I call the bookshelf file. I think I gotta look that up so I know the actual technical name. But um, but yeah, but it's like uh, 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 related to the bookshelf file, and there couple you could actually solve this with dynamic programming. Um, which I don't know if it's the expected be uh, uh, way of doing it. Uh, but the way I usually do it is actually I just use a variation of binary so binary search and greedy uh, and that is probably what I'm going to do here um, and the, the idea behind that is that um, given a num given say an quote unquote, uh, an attempt at answer um, uh, an attempt at an answer uh, x for some x uh, can all the conditions be satisfied if, if it can be then you try a smaller number if it cannot, then you try a bigger number, and that's kind of essentially the, the philosophy there. Um, okay, so there are thousand elements. Uh, what, the, what does this mean? M is oh, M is fifty or a thousand. Okay, actually, hmm. no thing is, it didn't tell you. Uh, uh, what are the uh, what are the constraints on the the number themselves? Like it could be large, it could be small. It doesn't usually matter, but maybe I should do a dynamic programming. Maybe that's okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, but for binary search, obviously it might. Uh, so I'm just gonna jump right ahead. Uh, so I I uh, I think also like make sure you have uh, your own consistent. Notation for things. I just call. I usually call these things head and tail for when I do binary search. I don't think that's actually a common notation, but I forget where I picked that up. Um, but uh, maybe I should just. But I've been doing it, so uh, yeah. Let me just say something like that, and I also do my thing in a weird way, but. Uh, okay. If let's say if this is satisfied, then we could try a smaller number. That means the tail goes to mid. Uh, otherwise, head goes to mid. Uh, okay. And then that's how many uh, partition we need for n and nums. If n is greater than x, then we just return false because that's not possible. Um, otherwise, oh, I need a running sum. Yeah, it's got running. Otherwise, one. Um, Wanting sum is greater than x, then we actually should set wanting sum is equal to n by creating a new partition and then we just have one. If we always have one partition, maybe. Um, and then at the end, we just return how many partition we have. Uh, and this should be or less than or equal to m. Okay. So something like that should be okay. I uh, notice that I do plus five for a reason of uh, So we want the first one that is not good in this binary search, uh, and then we return head minus one. Oops, not the eleven. Something like that. Whoops.
Well, it's close. Is it returning the well number? Mm -hmm. No, let's see. Uh, the X count. Maybe an off by one somewhere. Always have an off by one somewhere. Why is 16 good? So 16 for me is crazy. Uh, so that's 9, 14, and then create a new one. So that's now 2, 10, 18. Oh, I don't. Wait. Doesn't make sense. Oh, actually, I want the first good one. Okay. Because you go from not good to good. Yes, sorry. I, in my mind, I had it the other direction where you go from not good to good. Oh, from good to not good. But actually, in this case, it's your. Because if you choose a big enough M, it's always going to be good. And if you choose a small enough M, it's not going to be good. And then you do it that way. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, I always, I feel like I've done the same typo like every time I've done a binary search the last like three problems. Uh, I mean, it's a very easy thing, but maybe I'm just used to for loops. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I'm just going to submit. Uh, okay, maybe let, let me test the empty case. Uh, I guess the empty case is not possible, but. Oh, I guess this is also not a valid input. But I need this to be like one. But uh, let's just try it with one just in case. And it should give me ten. Um Oh man, is it too slow? <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, well, okay. I think that was the thing um, I mentioned earlier about looking at, like, the boundary things, conditions, things. Um, because, yeah, for this reason, because I didn't choose, when you do binary search, when you don't choose a big enough number. Eh. I was actually looking for it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, I guess I should have chose the biggest end. Any, yeah. But, uh, okay, fine. I think that's the second time that's gotten me recently too. But uh, okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think I've, um, hmm, I don't have links really, but I feel like I've de definitely done a variation of this problem in the past. Uh, and so I don't know how much I want to get into this problem, but, I, but it's a problem that I've first encountered uh, as an undergrad, which was hmm, <laughs> like 15 plus years ago. Uh, so, um, so I've always knew how to do this. Is a, I guess you could call it a textbook problem um, with some variation on um, on quote unquote, the cost that you're searching for. Uh, meaning, like it could be the max. Sometimes it's to minimize the largest number. Sometimes you maximize the smallest number or something like that. Um, but and some of that and that changes your binary search uh, fit function. But but you send the and is roughly always the same way. Like you take n contiguous things, and then they all have to fit together in some way. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't think I've. To be honest, I've. Uh, well, I would say a couple of things. One is that uh, binary search. I've gotten it on interview re uh, even recent in recent years as well. Uh, so binary search super important. So you should know that in general. Uh, I haven't seen this particular problem. Uh, I haven't heard about it at all in terms of interviews, um, but it is still nice to learn. Um, and maybe you could you practice the dynamic programming well as well. Um, I could probably clean this up a little bit, but but I'm okay. I mean, it's binary search. I I'm okay. I mean, I think I did this relatively cleanly. I could have abstracted a little bit more, but but uh, yeah. Uh, I hope a lot of you like this. Even I, but I think this is. I don't think this is a hard, but uh, in the sense that it is a problem that you would encounter in a textbook, uh, like an algorithms textbook. But, but like I think it's actually one of the problems that comes up for. Uh, I don't actually I don't know where they categorize it, but I've seen it in like multiple algorithm textbooks before. So, um, 
So, I mean, I think that's like that level basic, but, but it still does something that doesn't come up. So you might 